Log Data 1, date October 7th, 1958, Professor Richter. It's 1847 at the time of recording this audio log. We have finally decided on abandoning the help of the esteemed and rather unpleasant Heinz Baumgartner. Good riddance, I say. That filthy Nazi was the prime example of a man capable of arguing over the Emperor's beard. Another talk about the Jews and his obsession with them, and I would have stumbled upon an inner peace I simply cannot describe, as I would have started smashing his skull with a chair. All that time and subjects and his results are lackluster the best. Either way, the first attempt at creating artificial life has been incredibly abhorrent. We started with sample DNA from over 200 different species and a multitude of old artificial and natural wombs. It all ended with nothing to show for it. Out of 596 total embryos, only 7 have come out of the wombs and were rejected. All of them presenting horrid malformations that were more than unexpected. I fear this might be from faulty methods or improper conditions, but I digress. Out of those 7, only 1 was alive. We have agreed upon naming him Abel one. While he was alive for no more than 12 minutes, he was the most successful attempt. An emaciated creature with an enlarged gut, horse-like facial features, almost hairless and deformed limbs. In the 12 minutes of his living, his members started going through necrosis rapidly. After dissecting it, we found several unwanted characteristics, including retractable appendages on his higher back, capable of opening its lungs that were not functional, bizarre ribs that split, connecting improperly to the spine, and the capability of disconnecting from the sternum. What we also found was an extreme number of cancerous growths. I have concluded the use of nuclear elements with that hogwash arcane arts that Heinz proposed are to be considered worthless, and Heinz is to be put back into arrest. Abel 1 will be preserved for further study and as a reminder of our failure. Addendum 1, date October 28, 1958. Abel 1 showed signs of life after three weeks of inactivity. It produced one loud shriek, collapsing his lungs completely and started to rapidly decay. We only managed to salvage the skeleton.